Yeah, smoking on the door. All white diamonds, shit yeah, ain't white like the pipe. Yo, hello. It's Bobby Cosmetic Visuals here, and let's begin. There's a lot of ways to make this, but first, you need to roll the brush, or actually, don't even need to roll the brush if you don't know how to. But you could just technically use the pen tool. Let's say we have a clip and we want to transition into it. Here, I have this little want this text you saw in the intro of the video, which I made with my opium presets pack. If you want to check out the pack, it's on our editing visuals website. But, anyways, we have a clip, and this is from a snot music video. I think it's like not like me or something and we can just cut it so like you can press ctrl shift d and you can just cut one frame out so i'm gonna turn this button off actually and this make sure to just turn off the blur and now you can press ctrl d this will duplicate your layer and you can either use the pen tool and just uh waste some time and just do this like this 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 i mean sure this is very easy to do instead of wasting your time with that you can right click on it go to pre-compose and here you can call like roto move all attributes into new composition press ok and now we can go into this and here we can double press here go to the roto brush tool and here we can just draw on our character whatever you have i know this transition works very well on like car clips as well looks very cool so yeah we can just like fix it up a bit here the best part about this is all you only have to roto brush one frame out and it doesn't even need to look good because you won't be able to like see the roto brush anyway that well because this transition just goes by so fast okay so let's say i've roto brushed like this oh i'm gonna drag this here you just go out of here it's pretty bad but it's gonna work and now what we can do is we can like take it right here uh how to do the stretch rotor brush thing well there are two ways to do it so or there are a lot of ways to do it but these are just the two ways i'm going to show you so one way is to press s and it will bring up the scale and you can uncheck this part right here and you can scale this up like this part to like really high numbers and yeah it will stretch basically like that or we can reverse to 100 and make this like to 1000 it kind of looks stupid so for this type of scale i actually like to use one effect from the sapphire plugin which is s stretch frame edges and we can make the center squeeze to like zero i think this looks way cooler and i use this a lot in my videos now don't just have one frame although you can have it on one frame like i like to have it for a lot of frames to stretch i'm gonna turn off the text right now because it's making my stuff lag very much so this is just how to do like a little simple one frame stretch it's not that good i recommend roto brushing out a clip from a bit further from the video so i have already actually actually roto brushed it and I've placed it right here so I've roto brushed it here like almost nine frames before the clip even starts and here we can start to mess around a lot I'm gonna add on this one as stretch frame edges and here I'm gonna make the center squeeze to zero and now what I like to do is I like to press ctrl d to duplicate it and move one frame forward and here I like to make the center squeeze a bit higher so 0 0.45 and this is like what's gonna happen uh now this looks stupid right now but when it's in motion it looks very good and now let's move one frame forward sometimes I just leave like one frame just dark in other cases this will not be dark for example like this could have already a clip so like let's say let's bring this clip here it could already have a clip by the way guys like it, it could just be like on top of the clip and now we can press ctrl d to duplicate it again and here i'm actually going to delete the s stretch frame edges and i like to do here is press s and it's already unchecked because i unchecked it and i like to make this to 400 like 30 i forgot to tell you no let's not make it that how i like to stretch this out is by dragging this center thing like to the down or to up because it really matters for the scale properties so i'm gonna make this to 430 now and as you can see it barely scaled up here but it scaled up fully there so if we actually drag this point like up here then it would have scaled it down but it barely would have scaled up uh how would i say that well it would have not dragged down you guys know what i mean probably and yeah i like to have like these free frames like this you can have this already behind the clip but i like to do more so now we're actually going to use this part right here so we can actually drag it like right Right here so we had two frames like this then one frame nothing one frame this and now one frame of nothing and now we'll have this here i like to also mess around so i'll delete the s, s stretch frame edges and i will actually duplicate this right now and i'll drag that away just because i'll use it later and here i'm gonna show you what happens when you use the pen behind on top of them so this is what i actually did in the intro of the video press s of course like use the s and uncheck this and here i'm gonna make it to like 685 and here we can add like some fun effects 
works for example like deep clove it's a plugin but it's very good for this type of stuff and, like make it like 250 and i also like to add gaussian blur now add it on top of deep glow actually and i like to make the blurness to nine i like the deep glow at this frame and then we're gonna have this guy back and one little trick i like to do is i like to right click go to time and freeze frame here it's gonna freeze and now let's go where the clip starts and here delete press s make sure this is unchecked we need to take this right here and exactly drag it on top of his head now we can make the scale to 685 and let's keyframe the scale properties and now i also like to add u saturation and at the start i like to make the master saturation to like 100 and i like to keyframe the channel range at the start and we can press u and we'll see every keyframe and now let's go to the ending and this is the ending frame completely here i like to make it to 200 the scale oh god that looks so stupid and i like to make the master saturation to zero here right here on this dot and one more thing we should do is select these two keyframes right here press f9 and go to the graph editor so i like to make this graph kind of sharp like this so here's how it looks just without nothing <laughs> I did forget to add one thing, motion blur on top of here. We need that motion blur a lot, like it's gonna save us. Oh, and also add Gaussian blur. Oh my God, guys, I'm so sorry for forgetting this. Gaussian blur works very nice here. So yeah, we can make it to nine and check on the repeat edge pixels. So this is how it works. There's another trick I like to do. Sometimes I like to actually add invert on the ones that are with deep glow and drag it on top of deep glow and it will make for this white effect. So this is very effective. Like you can add this to whatever you want. So like deep glow here, then invert and then make sure the invert is on top and look how cool this will look. There's another thing I like to tell you, which is that I have an opium priestess pack, which I talked about in the beginning of the video, and it would basically give you looks like this. The opium priestess pack also includes a bunch of text effects, glitches, and just effects in general. And there's also a discount code for the opium priestess pack, which is called Povicas, to get $5 off. There's another effect I'm going to add to you guys, which is CC scale wipe. Like basically, if you add CC scale wipe, you just make it to stretch and you can stretch like that. I will make a separate tutorial on this, but as you can see, it's very good. And you almost don't even need to have the S stretch frame edges for this one. So yeah, this is kind of a cheat right here. I mean, that is so cool. And yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, then please let me know. But anyways, have a fun and productive day. See ya.